Congratulations to Lee John Graham on topping round 31. His first of the season with 16 points, bagging 5 out of 6 results. 20 broke into double figures, including Chris Wakefield, who took full advantage of his reprieve in the FA Cup. Smashing Simon Thomas, 14-4. That'll learn you, Simon. It ain't over till it's over. Martin Preston also picked up 14, just to be enough to become our fifth manager of the month, pipping Dave Richardson by a point after a last-minute change of heart saw Dave change West Brom Fulham from 2 all to one all, dropping three points. Unlucky, Dave. I've ordered you an extra-large T-shirt, Martin, to help hide your beer belly. Here you go, Tucker. Finally got your plaque done from last year's league. As I say to the wife, if I say I'll do it, I don't need reminding every six months. I'll get it stuck up by the weekend's roundup. The wheels may be falling off for Jason Mills, who not only crashed out of the FA Cup after Kristen Shepherd took the replay, but also dropped to third in the league after Andrew Silk's 12 moves him up to second. Daniel Terry beat Kev Rogers in their replay, progressing to the quarters and will go on to face Steve Hunt, who dispatched John Gallagher even after offering him a lifeline in the previous round. Tuesday night hosts the last leg of the Europa League, the results of which will complete the last 16, confirming all our remaining quarter-finalists. Kristen Shepherd, aka Amy Craskell, takes on Steve White after drawing 10 all in the first leg. If he wins this, he will join Frankie Merrick as the only players still on for the treble, which seems like a suitable time to remind you all of what the prizes are. Guaranteeing the prize money of £500, £300, £100 for the league, £500, £200 for the Champions League, £200, £100 for the Europa League, £200, £100 for the FA Cup. Most of the fixtures are pretty tight with a maximum of four points separating opponents, apart from you and Terry, who needs another big score after Darren Ingram took their first leg 13-17. And Julie Marsden, who needs a miracle after Tom Marchant Tom Marchant smashed the first leg 19-2, surely securing his place in the quarters. Wolves' woes continued as Saturday's 1-0 defeat to the Eagles left them without a win in eight league games, adrift of the battle for European football qualification, but not yet getting drawn into a fight for survival. Meanwhile, Arsenal nudged themselves closer to a European qualification spot after their nil-nil stalemate against United. Arsenal have only lost two competitive matches to Wolves across the 15 played this millennium and was victorious ten times. Away win. That 1-0 defeat to Man City means the Blades have now lost 20 of their last 24 league games, although six of their eight points have come from their last four highlighting real improvement. The Baggies are still struggling, although did pick up, against, pick up a point against Fulham Saturday. This has to be Big Sam's best chance of three points since taking over. Failure here may start to call his position into question. Away win. Despite ending Saturdays in second place, United can see the title slipping from their grasp, with plenty of wasted chances against Arsenal. However, they should bounce back against Southampton, giving they've won nine of the last ten Premier League fixtures against teams that ended Saturday in the bottom half. As for the Saints, three straight league defeats have seen them winning, their, their winning start to 2021 quickly fade from memory, and they've also failed to score in five of their last seven league games. Home win. Newcastle finally ended their nine-game losing run with that 2-0 win against Everton Saturday, but still have a lot to do as they fail to keep consecutive clean sheets in 29 Premier League fixtures. The Eagles appear to be improving defensively, maintaining clean sheets in three of the last five Premier League games and are also led by Roy Hodgson, who has a positive head-to-head -head record against Steve Bruce. 1-4, drawn 4, lost 2. That said, Palace have only won twice at St James in two and a half decades. Scored draw. With a poor start to 2021, Bournemouth have lost three consecutive matches due to their dwindling goal scoring. 
which doesn't bode well ahead of Tuesday's game against Wednesday, who have become more like a phoenix than an owl after shrugging off their six-point deduction as they climb to the to start to climb to the top of the red zone, although are still without a league win on the road in nine. This may be a step too far as the Cherries have only suffered two defeats here this season, only failing to score once, home win. Although comfortably beaten by Swansea at the weekend, Rotherham could still escape the bottom three with a win against one of the league's most improved sides. However, a win here would be just the second for the Millers in 23 Tuesday night championship games and their first league double over the Rams since 66. Wayne Rooney has transformed Derby, who haven't conceded a goal since losing 1-0 to Rotherham four games ago winning each of the last three by the same 1-0 scoreline. Away win. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hashtag I didn't forget Jeff.